Greetings, warlords. Today we're taking a look at the Macedonian Greek successor heavy cavalry sprue from Victrix. We'll look at this sprue, see what options are available. We'll get to building, chat a little bit about the painting, take a look at the finished result, and talk about what I like and dislike about the kit. So let's get to it. There are 12 models in this kit. So you're gonna get four sprues with the, the rider goodies here, and then you'll get four more sprues with the horses, which we'll, we'll take a look at shortly. We've got three bodies on each sprue. That's gonna be the same. We've got two different styles of shields there. So I do like that. And I do like having these round ones for the little big men studio decal purposes. I really hate having to cut those things in half. We've got three of these fancy cloaks here. So those are absolutely optional. Up top, we've actually, you know, it looks like javelins, but there's, there's a mix of javelins and short spears. So there's kind of three, I would say, left hands holding javelins, and then there's shorter spears. So one, two, three of the short spears, and then this one has actually a javelin in his right hand there. So that would be for representing, I guess, kind of the, the Greek cav, or I guess later on the successor Cav would have adopted that as well, according to the back of the package. And let's take a look at what um, I'll be sort of arming my boys with. And that is the super long Zeistens, I believe is how that is said, at least spelled X-Y-S-T-O-N. is basically a very, very long spear. And uh, you get four of them in the kit here. So if one happens to break, you've got a spare. And then up top, we have, look at this, 12, uh, 11 different heads on one spruce. So you're going to end up with 32 extra helmets by the end of the, the building of this kit. So I think that's pretty awesome having this variety here. We do have you know, a little sword, uh, some horns here. So uh, there was a standard on the other side. So you can, of course, build some command models. But overall, I really like how the rider sprue looks and no issues, plenty of options and goodies left over no matter what you choose. So here we have the horse sprue. So basically three different kinds of horses on the sprue here. And I got to point out this fella right there. We got the horse with the iconic uh, you know, lion's pelt. Looks really cool. So that is actually one of the, the three horses. So it's not like an add-on or anything. So four of the 12 horses are going to have that pelt and uh, maybe that'd be a good way to make a distinction between, you know, you have four elite hearth guard riders and then eight normal mounted warriors. So that, that could be handy uh, as a distinction. Now, this kit has a similar problem to the Numidians. And I don't know if I just got a bad batch here, but some of these horses you can see are off kilter and their ankles are bent and I'm gonna have to bend them back so they're gonna be even weaker. I did order these through the mail, uh, but you know, just be aware that that could be an issue. And if you're looking at them at the store, they come in those clear bags, which uh, you know, in this case isn't helping anything as far as keeping these delicate areas protected, but at least you can look in there and see you know, if there's a couple different bags you know, you know, a couple look like this and a couple look good. Maybe take those. So yeah, this guy down here, you know, he, he looks fine. And actually, um, this brew is the worst with two guys like that. I think there was two other ones I saw. So four of the 12 kind of had that issue. So just be aware, little sculpts look good. So let's get on to assembly. With the Victrix kits, there are usually some instructions here. Now you've got the options for the Macedonian Companion Cav, the Salian Nobles, Greek Heavy Cav, and then Successor Cav. Now the nice thing here is it's more of just a guide of which parts you want to use to create those specific troop types versus, you know, this arm only goes specifically with that body. And I've, I've seen that on other kits and I, I don't care for it. So I like this one where you can pretty much just mix and match 
everything to taste. So let's get into construction. chopping off the spearhead. I'll remove a good portion of the spear length and reattach it. I'm doing this for aesthetics, durability. Also mainly I'm just kind of fudging these models for multi-use purpose. Macedonian successors and Carthaginian citizen cavalry. Must be getting down to the bottom of the bottle here. Cannot get this glue out. Come on. Pooh! Finally. All right, lads. Gingerly with the tips. <laughs> so with the plastic glue, this is actually quite durable here. I've played a bunch of games since I've done this and haven't had any issues. If you're eagle-eyed, you also notice I cut off the spike at the end of the spear. We know from watching that Numidian cavalry video, I just don't like aesthetically how that looks either. I'm gonna recommend leaving the shields off for painting purposes. Generally, I like to just slap it all together, but their arms are sticking quite a ways out and the shields are quite large, so it's gonna be tricky to paint behind them if we do attach them. Other than that, these horses are great. No neck issues. Fit snug in the front, pretty snug in the rump too, just the tiniest line. So just a smidge of green stuff or the sprue glue to take care of that. For painting, we're not gonna dive into that too much today. I'll be releasing a video next week on painting golden metallics, where these horsemen are the stars. Until then, I'll just say that most everything was base coated with Pro Acryl or speed paints given a wash of GW product or speed paints again, and then usually a highlight or two of the base coat color mixed in with some pale skin from scale color or just a different scale color color completely. Here's the model out in the wild. Hopefully you agree that armor is nice and striking. If you like the horse or any of the horses really, Go back and check out the Numidian Cavalry review video for a horse painting tutorial. I use the same method here. That's a little big man shield transfer. It's from the Carthaginian set. I'm using the more generic ones here. Like I said, I'm gonna use these as Carthaginian citizens, Macedonians, or successors. For the unit itself, you can see I went with the uh, plain steeds, but don't you worry. I converted up a warlord from this kit. Used a different sword, head, and cloak with a little green stuff to bulk out his shoulders a bit and gave him the lion pelted horse. So he stands out as a special guy. I do have one regret building my warlord here. I did not use a breastplate with the nipples. That would have perfectly demonstrated his aura of command. So what do I think about the kit overall as a whole? I'll start with the nitpicking, and there really isn't too much. We can see these guys absolutely do not skip leg day, and I do think the legs and arms are a little out of proportion. Legs could be a little thinner and the arms a little beefier, but that's really about it. I'm not a big fan of the Victrix wrinkly cloth, and we don't really have much on these models apart from the cloaks. You could say the bodies are pretty similar, and they are, but... I don't know. I don't, I don't think that really bothers me. I guess the only other thing I could think of would be having that lion pelt as like a separate add-on piece or something because I literally just want one model with that and the rest just to have normal horses. So let's jump to the good bits. These are great horses. Minimal cleanup. 
Plenty of equipment options. They go together quick, and the spears seem sturdier than ones from other kits I've seen. I haven't had any issues with those. So overall, I do recommend them. If you found this video helpful, like and comment. If you have a question about how I did any other painting, post below, and maybe I'll put together another video about it. I will say the next kit review will be Victrix Successor Phalangites, and we'll be looking at how I painted the white armor on those, which is the same technique I used on the little white bits around their waist. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe. That's it for now, and best of luck with all your battles, both on and off the tabletop. See you later, guys. Zaga! like to see more saga content consider joining the heathen army over on patreon or popping on down to the saga doors day discord server links below thanks guys